G'day and welcome back to OS First Timer. In this episode, Dino will be trying out Red Hat Linux 5.1 from 1998 with the included GNOME Beta Preview version as suggested by Placebo. This video was made possible by Rogue AI who set up Red Hat Linux 5.1 and provided the virtual machine for us so be sure to check out the link in the description if you want to check out this OS yourself in VirtualBox. Anyway, what will Diana think of this 90s Linux operating system? Well, keep watching to find out. Okay, so here you are on the desktop of Red Hat Linux 5.1. Now, this was released May 22nd, 1998. Oh, so it's an old one. It's a very... And this is Linux. Like, this is, you know, mm. near the beginning of a Linux. And it actually includes what you're looking at. Have you heard of the GNOME desktop environment? I have. And you know how there's GNOME 1, 2, and... I think there That's are three That's that footprint now. thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. GNOME didn't actually... It wasn't officially released back then at this point in time. What you're actually looking at is this is a beta version of GNOME before it was actually a real thing. Okay. So you'll notice that a lot of things look broken, they function broken, there's missing icons and stuff like that. This actually doesn't, by default, you're not really supposed to use GNOME with Red Hat 5.1, but it comes on the CD as a preview to check out what GNOME is like, but it's not considered stable and usable at this point in time. GNOME actually wasn't officially released until 1999. Well, how come I'm using an unstable version? Why don't I just go on to the stable version? Because this was the operating system requested, 5.1, and it got this um, unstable, un like still in development version of GNOME. Okay. Um, you, you see, this is GNOME before it was really actually released. This is what it looked like while they're developing it. So anyway, the Linux kernel was actually first publicly announced in 1991. Oh wow, that's okay, really Okay, so that's early. when it was first. The oldest surviving Linux distro these days is actually Slackware from 1993. Well, for a start, it's got a cross as opposed to a pointing. Cross. As I was saying, this is starting off. Okay, yeah. it's, it's the early days. So go ahead. Well, you want to know what time it yeah. is. Okay, here we are. This says um, 2.43. So can you now write, save, open and delete a text document? Okay. Well, this little... Oh, look, it becomes an arrow from a cross <laughs> to an arrow. <laughs> it's pointing that way. <laughs> it's saying, get back up there. <laughs> See, get up there. Don't... What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, it just makes that disappear. Oh, no. <laughs> what? The bar has disappeared. It's back. So okay, that's well, what I'm that arrow does. That. Okay, the, so it's the foot so that you like started. So. Remember, it's just that that's kind of like telling me there's something over there. Come on. <laughs> Look, as you can imagine, it's almost like it's rolling the taskbar into the side of the screen to get rid of it if you don't want it. Okay, yeah, I got it now. Okay. Okay, so... Notice let's... there's only some things have icons. Okay. It's still in the early Application. Day. Well, I'm assuming it's an application. Out of interest, what do you think Netscape is? G-Edit. Here we yeah. go. That's What easy. do you think Netscape is when it said Netscape? I what is know. it? Is it... Escape um... from Nets. <laughs> Yeah. That would be good for animals, especially dogs trying to no, be as a computer program, what do you think? Caught it, by the do dog you pound. Do you think it's a game? Do you think it's a text editor? What do you think it might be? The internet. Yes, Netscape. It was of an course, early, very yeah. early internet browser. As to escape your world, go into the net. <laughs> so. I think it meant like a landscape, but it's a Netscape, a, okay. a landscape of internet website. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Okay. What do you think of the look of the program, how you've got at the top the X button and everything like that, and the colour scheme. What are you thinking of it? Oh, like, it's very bland. Button. Does it look better or worse than you think the Windows 98 with the blue? Like, it's similar, but it's kind of got a, I don't know, a creepy... You can tell that it's from that era. <laughs> it, it reminds me of, I don't know why, but it just reminds me of a text-based um, really early operating system. But it's completely graphical. Reminds me of DOS. I don't know why. It, but it's graphical. Oh, all these little, this pattern area here it just reminds me of the cross. I don't, I don't know why, but it just but does. The DOS is usually just black. With I know. Well, text. that's 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 black <laughs> lines in a pattern. Okay. Well, this document is now being typed. Oh. What does that mean? Oh, I meant typed. Notice the arrow goes all these different ways. It's this way, and sometimes it's that way. I know. So it's file. It's this way. Now you click on that, and it's that way. It always, It doesn't know which way to <laughs> no, face. No, it doesn't. Okay, so I'm going to save it as. This document. And where is it saving? I never know where it's saving. Um, I think it's pretty obvious. It's kind of... 
pointing that out for you. Save as. No, but where is it saving? S- root. Yeah, it in tells you twice it's saving in the root folder. Okay, okay. Okay, file save. Now can you find where it is? Do you find that even though this is in beta, that this wasn't even fully released yet as an actual desktop environment, do you find that it's usable well, and you understand it? for this task, who knows if it's going to be usable for other things. No, but like finding programs okay, and stuff like that. Okay, home directory. I'm in the root thing, and then if I scroll down, where's the... There we go. Titled. Oh, no, document. That's what Someone's I Someone's got something it. called titled.txt. But that who... reminds me, that's something you would write. Well, maybe it was me in a in previous the... life. <laughs> It's like, it's one of the no. They like, you could usually, it's usually untitled.txt and you change it to titled. Because it's now titled. I know, that's something I would do. I'm like creeped out now. <laughs> Can you just open titled.txt? I want to oh, see what that wasn't part of it. So the double title. clicking it doesn't seem to open no. it. No. Well, maybe if you right click it. Really? Open. Oh, what? Title.txt. Okay, open with. Okay. No, but what what are you going to... You didn't even say what to open it with. But I just want it open. Right click, open I don't want to open it with anything. I just want to open it. No, so, can't I just... Look, I'm here. No, yeah, you've got to close that first. Cancel. Now, look. See, I'm here. I want to open it. So I've selected it open. Work. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Enter extra arguments. Well, op- why won't you open? <laughs> That's an extra that argument. argument. <laughs> why won't you open? <laughs> so it, it looks like by default, double clicking on something doesn't open it in the text editor by default. No, it doesn't. Remember, this was beta, so. Well, let me just see if I can do my. Double click, maybe? In this situation where it seems kind of unopenable, how about you try to actually get the text editor up and file open like that. Okay. Get the text editor up. Gone. Now, let's go here. Applications. Edit. And it's not there yeah. either. Yeah, but what do you do? You don't just open it and it, you expect file. it to open. It usually open. Open. Okay, so it's document. document. Then can you open titled? Because I'm very interested. Document, document is now. Is now, because... now, now can you please? Yeah, I'm okay. completely <laughs> freaked out by this title file. thing. File. Open. Now, what is this title.txt? Oh, what is it? Hello, Frank Walker from National Tiles. This week, National Tiles has a beautiful range of polished porcelain and I floor like tiles. I like porcelain floor tiles. So, but what is this? I'm like very creeped out. Until this Sunday. Oh, well, we got a little. We've no, got but this is 1998, and why would someone call it titled.txt? <laughs> I'm actually creeped out. There we go. We should go to the website for more details to find out. But there is Frank no website. Side, it doesn't say no, National Tiles. <laughs> Obviously, National Tiles. Let's do that. Okay. That was just the creepiest thing ever. Look at this. It changes from an X to, to a, a pointing <laughs> thing. A point yes. Hand. Do you want that? Yes. <laughs> it oh, and then so it, awesome. ch- it goes to a skull. I didn't see a skull. I saw it. It might mean that you're killing this thing <laughs> by closing it. Oh, you watch. I'll do it again. There's a skull. Open the home directory and double click. Okay. Now watch this. See the hand? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, for a second, it's a skull. Are we serious? Yes, I'm serious. I'll show you again. You, you <laughs> like to see? I'm not sure. Okay, I've got to look very closely. Go again. Go again. You can put your head right here <laughs> yep. and look, okay? Okay. Now watch. So it's a hand. Yep. Oh, I saw it's it. It's a skull. Can you keep your finger on it this time and see if we can make oh. the skull stay? Go to kill it. Now, keep your finger on it. Oh, there, there it is. It's a skull. It's a skull. That's it. <laughs> Cross. Because it you means you hold you're... it over something else, like take it off that now. Now try and put it on that little up thing next to it. There. Now keep your finger on it. It becomes a circle. Yeah, it's. Uh, it becomes a different thing. The, I've just noticed the cursor changes based on all these different things yeah. in this old gnome. Okay. Well, anyway, that was. Silly. That's a good way though <laughs> to to close something up. You're you're literally killing it. So. Yeah. <laughs> skull and crossbones. Well, Someone has a sense of well, humor. There we go. Can you now calculate? Now I've noticed if also if you click on the desktop a few times, you've click click on the desktop though. Yeah. Click on the desktop. Notice that comes up. Yeah. So it's like extra little things here. Um, anyway, you've got to calculate. Ghost view. <laughs> that might be all the things that you've closed in the past that have died. <laughs> you can view them now. So they're never anyway, really gone. Anyway, so you're trying to find a calculator. You know, this is oh, like... No. Utilities? Gonna... Wait a sec. Aha. Simple calculator. calculator. I want a, No, I want a simple calculator. I wonder what the difference is. That, that doesn't, doesn't look terrible. simple. That looks very complicated. I'd hate to see the complicated <laughs> one. The co- let's see the complicated <laughs> one. That doesn't look simple. Okay, okay, let's see the complicated calculator. Calculator. That looks more simple. That looks more simple. <laughs> 
So one is a GNOME calculator and one is the GNOME ENUS calculator. That one looks more like a numpad like you're going to call somebody. Like a phone application. I know, it does. Okay, what do I calculate? Well, I use the GNOME calculator. No, no, I'll do this No, one. I like the GNOME calculator better. because. No, it, no, I'll no, use both. Like, Tell me, what, what do I calculate? <laughs> and then you can rate which one you like better, yeah. which calculator. Okay, the calculation is 1998. I wonder why. Minus 666. You're removing the evil from 1998. Yeah. Okay, equals. There we One, go. 1332. Let me see. 1998 minus. The complicated calculator shows you your previous calculator and shows you how you got to this. Yeah. While the simple calculator just shows you the answer. Yeah, but the simple one has all these complicated <laughs> things. I don't know. I like the font of that calculator. It feels interesting. This one? No, the other one. No, I like this one no, better. But I like the font. Because I like to know what I've done so I can see I haven't made yep, a mistake. but I'm saying I like the font like that minus. It's like this thick, interesting, bold text. Like it's, and it's mm -hmm. white text instead of black. Like, like, okay. I don't know. I just found that kind of interesting. Okay. Well, there we go. That is the calculator. Can and I'll now, kill them both. Can you now change the desktop background? And when I say change the desktop background, you can make it an image, but you can also make it... Well, I've just right-clicked, and obviously that's not the right thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I have to go here, I'm assuming. When I say change the desktop background, I just mean change it from this pattern. Electric eyes. <laughs> Guys, okay. Uh, do you really want to make it big, so big? There's the background. I've changed it. No, that's there's no more background. Eyes. This is electric eyes. I've made the electric eyes background. This is a program eye ground. <laughs> now I'm not even not knowing what I'm saying. This is a program that you've just made full screen, and it says right click mouse for. But menu. technically, it has changed the background. Can you right click the mouse just out of interest. Oh, so it's some kind of an image editor, obviously. Mm. Okay, we'll get out of this. GIMP. Remember GIMP? GIMP is like a modern image editor kind of thing. So this is like an old version. Uh, yeah, well... You can quit GIMP. Don't need it. Isn't that funny? GIMP was around back then too. Maybe press quit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you've got to change the desktop background. So it's nothing there. What would you usually find something well, changing you'd system settings? Well, you'd usually right-click, but it doesn't work. Yeah, but what else? If you couldn't right... You'd go into some kind of like a control panel or something in Windows and find yes. it through there. You do really think this would be an application or, you know, something Could like be. that? Could be. Who knows? Back then, it was early days. So, no. But, but out of interest, what do you think you prefer better? Windows 98 or this in its kind of feeling and stuff? I'm more familiar with Windows because okay. I'm a Windows user. So... So it would be easier for me Windows. So background properties. Wait a sec. Here we are. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And what are you going to do? It's got something here that says the word color. Yeah. What do you think you might do there? That one. Okay. And what do you think you might do? Wallpaper. Why isn't it doing well, First of all, how would tiled? you apply this? Like? Centered. I think I might do tiled. Okay. There, so you've got a purple background. I did it. Oh, I didn't want purple background. Well, I wanted you, pink. Well, well, it is a pinky background. <laughs> and you just said you're not a fan of purple no, and Hannah I Montana. No, I did. I know. That's why. What about a blue background? Because pink might look a bit eye-killing. Yeah, I know. I wonder what... Gradient. Oh, look at that. A purple and blue gradient. So you can yeah. have a gradient. So maybe a dark blue to a light blue. You, you know what I mean? You'd have to click OK first. And then you'd click Apply when you're ready to apply it. See? There we go. OK. I've done it. OK, great. So you've changed the desktop background. That was... I've made it look like Windows now. <laughs> kind of a Windows 95 teal yeah. look a little bit at the top. Anyway, now you can explore the operating system yourself. This is, you know, exploring the early days of Linux. Like, this is a very kind of an interesting thing to do. OK, so here we have Panel. Nothing interesting. It says Add to Panel or Add Applet. What would no, you add? I don't want to add Have a little look. See what you've got there if there's anything graphic oh, that's oh i see so this is almost like shortcut like if you wanted a shortcut to a program in your panel like add the calculator there have a go okay like put simple calculator there I'll just there you go and that adds the calculator oh, that's I kind see. of like windows 7 the big calculator yeah, things yeah, and you yeah, can yeah. add a bunch there all your most commonly used program yeah you know what that's pretty good yeah i agree that's actually a pretty good thing it reminds me of windows 7 or windows 10 you know what i mean yep yeah audio games Okay, so obviously there's Mahjong. That sounds familiar. I'm sure I've played that for. Yeah, the tiles. Remember yeah, Windows that was 7? fun. Obviously, it's not going to have fantastic graphics, but no, it's not too bad, is it? No, it's not, but I think I didn't press the right one. So you can get the eights. The um, eight, it's a green eight. Oh, not that eight. Oh, but you got that eight. <laughs> it was a different eight I was referring to. That was another to. one. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, you can quit that. Now, that just shows, you know, how yeah. that kind of is. Um, what other things does this include? By the way, in the panel thing, go to panel again. Um, add applet. 
Like, see, see what some of these things yeah. are. Put, for example, the CP load and mem usage there. This one? Yep. There you go. So you've got kind of little monitors and stuff you can have. So it's, you know, it's even though it was early days, it was kind of interesting to kind of see what they had. What other applets did they have? Okay. Monitors? How many monitors no, had I batteries? I even a mail check down there. That's interesting. Keep going but down. But what mail check? Gmail? No, obviously, whatever mail you had back then. I like that. It's empty. I've got no mail. It, uh, to me, that looks like a pin ready to stab somebody. No, but that's one of those old things where, like, if you had mail, it would be put oh, really? on that. Yeah, the letters, the actual papers would be put on that, and that would hold it in place so they don't get blown see, off the table. See, it just goes to show the... See, I think of stabbing somebody, and you think of putting letters on, so it's an interesting well, different time period. Well, that's technically periods. what that was. Yeah. It just looks like an upside-down pin, though. You could it? stab somebody with it. <laughs> you really wanted to. Okay. What was the last applet down at utility at the bottom? Clock. Oh, clock. Oh, there we go. But it hasn't it already? Okay, two clock. Oh, it's another clock. <laughs> okay. So we've got two clocks. <laughs> two clocks. And I think there's even a clock on the desktop. Check the desktop. Click the desktop and then go down to application. Oh, there. X O clock. There you've oh, got there another go. clock. So it's for anybody who's upset but you can't move it around. Are you sure? What was that? The calc is there. Well, how did that get there? No, I accidentally opened a calculator. Wait a sec. I think you can minimize these. Let me just try something. Application. The chest is too big for the screen. You can actually change the panel as you can see to be like the top, bottom and side and stuff and even ch have a background image to it. You know what I mean? But yeah. I don't think there's any background images here. But it's interesting. So you could actually, instead of it, this colour, you could give it a background image, you know? Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway. Okay, I'm going to see what ghost view is. That's intrigued me. Oh, well, ghosts are invisible. <laughs> what are the gnome mines? This would probably be... Oh, look, it's oh, that's one the of Windows those. 95 thing. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, wow. It's such a exact clone of like a Windows one. Yeah. I mean, I think there's more on the desktop. That's a bomb. Yeah. Can I, can I mark it? Yeah, and if there's one there, more. that's not a bomb. There's some more little um, game things on the side. What are these? Is X How many games are there? There's maze. Look at near those silly yeah, eyes. Yeah, those eye things that watch you. Um, look at the maze. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a complicated... <laughs> that reminds me of the... What is this? Does it do itself? Seems like it. Are you controlling it whatsoever? Yep. yep. No, you're not. I am. Oh, so that's a maze. It draws the maze and seems to do the maze itself. So it tries out all the possible things. Try and figure so out the maze itself. So it can't get there. So it knows that that's wrong. Oh, that's wow, well, look at that. Oh, it's a screensaver. Oh, wow. So it's a, like it maze. That's a really interesting... Screensaver. So it, it, I want to see it get it to the It draws itself a maze and then tries to find its way to the maze. Oh, and it will. Oh. But I don't see any way to it. I do. Where? Because it looks to me there. like that X in the middle. There is... we go. Oh, I thought it was trying to get to that X no. death in the middle. Oh, okay. Oh, anyway, that's really you can that cute. Now. Okay. Windows um actually had a similar maze thing. I can't so not quit closing. It. Okay, well some things in this don't don't seem to close. I'm going to the desktop again and just see what other games have got. Wait, what's this little arrow do at the side? Try that. Oh, that's how you get them onto the desktop as little things. Okay, see maze. And there actually are some screensavers here. Look at all of these. Bat. I Life do 3D. Bat. Whoa. That go was... back to bat. Oh, no, there's a bunch go. of bats. That's a bit good on ha uh, Halloween. Uh, random. I want to see random. What is that? Oh, it's a fractal. Those things, you zoom in on it and you can zoom in forever. Oh, is it? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Will it do it? I assume it's just a picture that's based off a fractal, but that's what fractals are. You can zoom in and you just forever keep zooming. You can find online fractals. They're pretty okay. interesting to look at. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was very random. I didn't expect to just, you click on that and a fractal appears. Yeah. And what's life? Oh, life, the game of life, you know, um, the like where it keeps on going forever, like they, the blocks keep expanding and moving and stuff. Okay. That was that. You can now shut this down and um, we will go from there. If you can shut it now. So do you think this is pretty good versus Windows 95? I mean, you can pin those things like you could always oh, set, set it out like Windows 7 I'm trying to get rid of them all and I can't get rid of them. Do you think this is a pretty good operating system? I think it's good for its time, yes. Um, and for a beta version, I think it's got a lot of stuff in it. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't even, you know, fully supposed to... Oh, there you go. There's yeah. a foot. You can get to it now. And log out. Well, there goes the GNOME thing. So you got out of GNOME, but now you've got to exit F, the window manager. See? FV window manager at the bottom. So you've got to quit that too. Oh, and it says look. No, no don't, don't quit, quit. Or yes, really quit. Yes, really quit. There you go. You got out of the window manager. Oh, I love that. Yes, really quit. And now you're quit. still in this. Oh, it never ends. Well... 
it doesn't look like it had a proper get out of thing thing. Mm. So you're just kind of stuck on this screen now. Okay. So there we go. You just tried out Linux from 1998, Red Hat Linux 5.1 with a beta version of the GNOME desktop environment. Pretty I tell you what, I remember quite a few requests in the past. People saying, try Red Hat Linux, try Red Hat Linux. Yeah, but I think they're saying more modern versions, not particularly mm. this version. So anyway, do you think back then this kind of an operating system would have held up in the days of Windows, you know, like 98-ish? Yes, I do actually, because and did you like it had fact, quite a lot of stuff. Did you like the fact you could kind of, it's almost like Windows 7, how all the programs you want, you can add them, and it was quite customizable, yeah, like, it was. and the bar could be top right, left bottom, and yeah. like, there's applets and stuff. I just found it quite interesting. Well, anyway, that was Red Hat Linux 5.1. If you want to try this out yourself, be sure to check the link in the description to Rogue AI's video, and he'll give you an actual link to download this in VirtualBox, and he was the one who set that up, so a big thank you to Rogue AI who actually made this video possible. We will see you guys in the next episode of OS First Timer. Bye.